So we're going to talk about your furnace filter and, uh, and your furnace and some operational issues with your furnace. This furnace in this home happens to be very typical of a Gold Seal home. It's a 95% efficiency, high efficiency furnace. Um, and some of the things you'll need to know about it, obviously, are the gas shutoff locations. All gas shutoffs are in yellow uh, for your hot water tank and your furnace. And for them to be open, they should be in the upright position in line with the pipe. Um, in every utility room, we'll have a utility shutoff switch. This should be left in the on position at all times. This is a cutoff in case there has to be a repair made to your furnace or hot water tank and should not be operated by the homeowner. So please leave it on. It's on for a reason. But what we're really here to show you today is a simple operation of ch changing your furnace filter. And the uh, furnace filter should be changed pretty much every three months, although um, based on the amount of um, dust or lint that's being collected on your pad, you might want to change it more or less. We recommend a HEPA filter and we will install a HEPA rated filter for the first filter of the home and your entire system will have been cleaned. You'll see an access panel here where the furnace was cleaned and throughout the plenum areas up above you'll see access holes here that might be off camera right now but uh, there'll be access holes where the entire plenums and heating system have been pressurized and cleaned out. So let's get to changing your furnace filter. Here's a typical furnace filter. The sizes are typically indicated on the ends. Uh, this furnace filter happens to be a 16 by 25. You can, these can be bought in singles or in triple packs. They're very inexpensive and we recommend that you have three or four of them on hand at all times. Uh, to replace the filter, you simply remove this cover plate. You can set the cover plate down and the furnace filter is a simple operation. Slide the, the old furnace filter out, inspect it, and you can see on this one that we do have a little bit of dust collecting on it, so it is time to replace and put the new furnace filter back in. Now, something to keep in mind is some furnace filters are directional. Uh, they will show an arrow, so they'll show the direction of the air. So we do have a direction of the air intake coming into the home, and we want that pointed towards the furnace. Simply slide the furnace filter back in place and make sure to put the cover back on because that does seal up the cavity and make sure there's no uh, air leaking from here. Um, if there are any other questions or you don't feel comfortable with changing your furnace filter, please feel free to give us a call at 337-2290 and we'd be happy to give you further instruction.